We're on a 49-day push right now. So to show up for everyone in Texas, regardless of the differences between us. And it is only day 13. We started out in El Paso. We drove to Pecos, went to Midland, Odessa. We were in towns like Muleshoe and Snyder, Dumas. In Lubbock, I listened to a young father, as conservative as they come. I don't know if he'll vote for us in this next election, but his nine-year-old is gonna start school in a week. And he told his kid, listen, that gunman comes in. I don't want you hiding under the desk. I don't want you running into a closet. He's ordered his son to test the cranks on every one of those crank opened windows. And his son went into school and found that window. He knows which one he's running to to escape. We are in Spearman, Texas. Population a little more than 3,000. And we invited the protesters in as well. We said, bring your Trump flags. Bring an open mind. And a young woman there in Spearman, Texas says, my entire life, the law of the land has been that I have bodily autonomy. I can make my own decisions for myself, but Beto, I'm worried now that going forward, I will no longer be able to do that. And it might very well cost me my life in a state that has one of the highest maternal mortality rates in the developed world. Three times as deadly for black women. Rolling into Quana, Texas, it's a cotton grower. Last February, I found myself freezing in my own home, not sure if I or my elderly wife were gonna make it through the night. Reminding us that more than 700 of our fellow Texans lost their lives in the energy capital of the world. In Bowie, we invited in a protester who had a Greg Abbott sign. You know what she asked? She said, hey Beto, I'm a retired principal. And I find myself back in the classrooms now as a substitute teacher because so many thousands of educators have left the profession so far. In Midland, Odessa, just like in Houston, Texas, they're working energy jobs in that community. And they asked me, hey Beto, can we count on you to protect our jobs? Can we count on you for the future for our kids and grandkids? Investments in hydrogen, in wind, in solar, in geothermal, in battery storage technology. And then lastly, I was just in Port Arthur. It's one of the most diverse counties in America. Rio and Reyes are first time voters. They say, though our county in Jefferson was hit harder than any other during Harvey, we have yet to see the resources come down from the federal government or the state government. And for some reason, these Republican represented counties further inland that didn't suffer the level of devastation and death that we did seem to be getting the lion's share. I tell you folks, Greg Abbott is sleeping on Texas and he's sleeping on rural Texas. We're showing up for people, we're fighting for people, we're listening to people, we're learning from them about what's most important to their community and then we are fighting for their vote until we earn it. So whether that's here in Houston or Port Arthur or Kwana or Muleshoe or any of these communities we've been to, folks I tell you what, I feel like we're going to win this election. But it's gonna be up to all of us, not just some of us, and not just one of us. We're gonna win! We're gonna win! We're gonna win! We're gonna win! Thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link below.